Dear Heavenly Father, You are the creator of the universe, the giver of life, the sustainer of all things, and yet, in your great love, you care for each one of us individually. Lord, as we stand in your presence, we want to take this moment to seek you with everything we have, to draw near to you, and to thank you for your countless blessings. You have been our rock, our provider, our comforter, and our guide, and we are grateful beyond words. Your word tells us in Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 13, You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Today, we come before you with open hearts, yearning to know you more, to understand your ways, and to follow your perfect will. In a world filled with distractions, it's easy to lose sight of your presence, but Lord, we want to be intentional in seeking you every day. We want to seek you in our joys and our sorrows, in our triumphs and our trials, knowing that you are the one who holds everything in your hands. In the story of King Solomon, when given the chance to ask for anything, sought wisdom from you above all else. In 1 Kings chapter 3, verse 9, Solomon prayed, Give your servant a discerning heart to govern your people and to distinguish between right and wrong. And because Solomon sought wisdom over wealth and power, you not only granted him wisdom, but blessed him with prosperity and peace. Lord, may we have the heart of Solomon seeking your wisdom above all else. May we never be tempted to chase after the things of this world, but instead let us chase after you, knowing that you are the source of all good things. As we seek you, we also want to offer our deepest thanks. Your word in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18 reminds us, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Lord, sometimes it's easy to give thanks when things are going well, when we're healthy, when our relationships are thriving, and when our careers are flourishing. But even in times of hardship, you call us to be thankful. We thank you, not just for the blessings we can see, but for the trials that shape us, for the challenges that strengthen our faith, and for the moments of uncertainty that draw us closer to you. We recall the story of Joseph, who faced betrayal by his brothers, slavery, and imprisonment, yet he never lost faith in you. In Genesis chapter 50, verse 20, Joseph said to his brothers, You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good, to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. Lord, we thank you for the trials in our lives, that though painful, have been used for our good and your glory. Just as you turn Joseph's pain into a platform for blessing, we trust that you are working in our lives, even when we don't understand. Help us, Father, to have the kind of faith that Joseph had. Help us to see beyond our circumstances and to trust that you are always at work, even in the darkest moments. We pray for those watching today who are going through difficult times, those facing loss, illness, financial struggles, or broken relationships. Lord, remind them that just as you were with Joseph in the pit, in the prison, and in the palace, you are with them now. You have a plan, and you are turning their pain into purpose. Give them the strength to persevere and the faith to trust in your timing. Father, we also remember the story of Daniel 
in the lion's den from Daniel chapter 6. Daniel was thrown into the den because of his unwavering faith in you, yet even in the face of death, he did not waver. He trusted you completely and you delivered him. We pray for that kind of bold faith, the kind of faith that stands firm in the face of adversity, that does not shrink back in fear, but boldly proclaims, my God is able to deliver me. For those watching who feel like they are in a lion's den right now, whether it's the den of fear, anxiety, or overwhelming circumstances, we pray for your deliverance. Remind them that you are the God who shuts the mouths of lions and who brings peace in the midst of chaos. As we seek you and thank you, we also ask for your guidance. Life can be filled with uncertainty, but we know that you have a perfect plan for each of us. Your word in Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your paths straight. Lord, we don't always understand why things happen the way they do, but we choose to trust you. We know that your ways are higher than our ways and your thoughts are higher than our thoughts. We surrender our plans to you and ask that you lead us in the way we should go. Help us to trust you, even when the road ahead seems unclear. In Exodus chapter 14, when the people were trapped between the sea and the Egyptian army, you made a way where there seemed to be no way. You parted the waters and led your people to safety. Lord, for those watching who feel trapped, trapped by circumstances, trapped by fear, or trapped by uncertainty, we pray for a Red Sea moment in their lives. Show them that you are the God who makes a way when there seems to be no way. Guide them through their challenges and lead them to the other side. Father, we are also reminded of the Apostle Paul. Despite being imprisoned and facing constant persecution, never stop thanking you and encouraging others to seek you. In Philippians chapter 4 verses 12 and 13, Paul said, I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Lord, we pray for contentment in every season of life. Whether we are in times of abundance or times of need, may we always find our contentment and strength in you. Help us to seek you, knowing that you are the source of everything we need. As we seek you and thank you, Father, we also ask for hearts that are constantly aware of your presence. Psalm chapter 105 verse 4 tells us, Look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. Lord, we don't want to seek you only in moments of crisis or need. We want to seek you always to live in constant communion with you. Help us to cultivate a lifestyle of seeking you where every decision, every thought, and every action is done with you in mind. Let us wake up each day with a desire to know you more and let us go to sleep each night with hearts full of gratitude for all you have done. We also lift up our families, our communities, and our world to you. As we seek you and thank you, we ask that you bring healing where there is brokenness, peace where there is strife, and hope where there is despair. In 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, 
you promise, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Lord, we humble ourselves before you today. We seek your face and we ask for your healing in our lives and in our world. Heal the divisions, heal the wounds, and bring unity and restoration to your people. Finally, Father, we ask that you help us live lives that reflect our gratitude and our pursuit of you. Let us be lights in the darkness, pointing others to you. As we seek you and thank you, may our lives be a testimony of your goodness and grace. As we go forth from this moment of prayer, let us carry your presence with us, seeking you always and giving thanks in all things. We pray all of this in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus. Amen.